so happy that we will be able to move in together. You amaze me, Melissa. I too am so happy to be able to share my life with you now. I am so sad, but good. Now I really don't have anything to worry about anymore. I have already left everything in the hands of the Lord that the will of the Lord be done in my life from now on. I am a bit sad for Nicholas. I very much hope that he will get out of this difficult situation, which he was going through. It is very mean of Lorenzo to behave like this. It is barely two days since I moved in with Melissa. I am so happy to have taken her from my little brother's house. It's a bit crazy how I feel about her that life is beautiful and there is love. A few more minutes to spend here to warm up before heading home tonight. I can't wait to see my beauty again. Who are you? Where are you from, sir? Talk to me please, because I am extremely frightened of you. Beware of mistaking your brother's wife for your wife. Yes, of course, because the wife that you currently is not your wife. Keep yourself not to commit any immorality with your brother's wives too, otherwise the day you do, you will die because my god takes no pleasure in adultery. Tell the woman who is currently living with you to go see her husband again. Come on, good evening to you and see you soon. It's incredible what just happened. But where did this man come from? Who is he to tell me not to go out with my brother's wife? I am quite old and I have the right to do what I want. Melissa is mine and no one else's. Now she and I are for life. Nobody will stop me from enjoying this beautiful creature that nature gave me. Anyone who still has fun talking to me I will send him very quickly to his ancestor. <laughs> well, it's time for me to go home and see my beautiful creature. But why hasn't Lorenzo returned yet? Since just now, I have been so looking forward to seeing him again. Melissa Melissa, the woman of my dreams. Melissa, Melissa, the woman of my dreams. I hope you understood my message. You again, sir? But where do you come from? Let me alone live my relationship with my wife. You know, sir, if you don't listen to what I'm saying. Tomorrow will be a very painful day for you. You won't be able to walk, to hear, or see everything that's going on around you. Sincerely, think again and return your brother, his wife, for you are not allowed to take your brother's wife as your wife. Doing something like this is an abomination before the Lord and you risk unleashing God's wrath on your life. All right, sir. I think that for this time, I got your message. Thanks for being kind to me. Please don't hurt me because I don't want to lose my life because of a woman at all. As soon as I get home, I'll tell Melissa to go join her husband. I promise, sir. Okay, Nicholas. Because obedience is better than sacrifice don't harden your heart more. This time simply respect this good word that I am giving you and you will see that everything will be even better in your life. Okay, thank you very much sir for this good word that you have just given me. You're welcome, Nicholas. This case is really starting to get over my head. I don't understand what's going on at all. It seems to me that I am seeing my neighbor from afar. But what is she still looking for outside at this hour? Lord, help me get my wife back. Help me win back the heart of the one you gave me. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. But why is it delayed like that to come back home? I need to go see if they aren't hanging out somewhere. Without lying to you, Lorenzo, that's a bit how I felt about you. I really care about you and I would like to know if it was mutual. Well my beautiful Elodie, I think you are superbly magnificent. But you know, give me time to think about this proximity that you are asking of me. Okay Lorenzo, in any case. I want so much to become your wife and to be able to give you pretty children. I really want you and me to be together, I want us to share our daily lives together. Okay Elodie. Thanks for sharing your feelings with me. It means a lot to me and goes straight to my heart. I promise that I will give you an answer within two to three days. Okay, my future husband.
What? What did I just see like that? My husband with his famous neighbor. But how can he give her a hug like that? How can my husband allow another woman to jump into his arms like that? Personally, I do not agree at all with what I had just seen. In any case, I am waiting a bit longer to see how the next one unfolds. I hope Lorenzo is not courting this famous neighbor. You know, I experienced something that had me strangely upset compared to Melissa Huey. What has really happened? You know, Elodie. A gentleman reappeared to me suddenly just now and wanted to tell me again and again that I was not allowed to have my brother's wife as my wife. Oh yes, and did you know this man before? No, not at all. Elodie, I had never known her before. Do you remember in the past that I myself told you that it was not possible for you to go out with your brother's wife? Yes, I remember Elodie very well that you said that to me, but you know, back in the day, I was so blinded by this girl, Melissa, that I couldn't really understand what was going on around me. You know that I can't go back with this girl anymore, because the man who appeared to me had clearly told me that if I do it, that I would pass away from life to death. Clearly, this gentleman said that. Yes, Elodie, that's what he clearly told me. Okay, I think the best thing for you is to get rid of this girl, otherwise, she will bring you a lot of bad luck. Tell her to go back to Nicholas and that you were no longer interested in her at all. Tell me the truth and don't risk your life because of it, because I don't want anything bad to happen to you. You know, you mean a lot to me and I carry you in my heart. Even if she was no longer there today, I will always be there by your side to support you. Is supported forever. Okay Elodie. Thanks for comforting me. I think it's best to tell the truth. Yes. Lorenzo don't resist the voice of the gentleman who spoke to you just now. Tell me the truth. That way, you will be at peace in your soul and in your mind. At the same time, you will make peace with your brother afterwards. You're right Elodie, I really think it's the best thing to do. Obviously, Lorenzo, it is really the best thing to do. Oh, don't cry. I am here for you. Okay Elodie. Be comfort my love and may the Lord protect you. Thank you so much Elodie. It's a good thing I can count on you. You're welcome Lorenzo, we're together. What? It's my husband who lets another woman caress him like that. It's really not possible. Men really are all the same. I am disgusted with this famous Lorenzo. I think he and I are over because I just caught him like that hand in the bag. There is no need to stay there and watch them anymore. Now I understand his game and his double life. It would be better if I went home quietly. Have a nice evening. Elodie and I will keep you informed later. Okay Lorenzo. Pleasant evening also to you and see you very soon. I think the time has come to tell this woman that we will no longer be able to continue together because I especially do not want to have problems in my personal life. Let's go. God please give Lorenzo the strength and courage to tell Melissa the truth. Thank you for looking out for him and for opening his eyes. Amen. I won't even allow him to step foot in this house anymore. I never want to see him here again. Let him go away forever, because I don't want to live with a womanizer. The moment of truth has come. I don't want to have fun with my life anymore. Like I was telling you. When did you start cheating on me with the neighbor? But why are you telling me that, Melissa? I don't understand what you're talking to me about at all. It's to me, you say that. Didn't I catch you earlier with the neighbor falling in love with you? Yes, when did you also start lying to me? You know, I hate people who live double lives. They have to lie. You had just destroyed all the respect I had for you. It will be very difficult for me to forgive you for what you have just done to me. I could never imagine that coming from you. I am so sorry, but it's really not what you thought without lying. I too could no longer continue the relationship with you. What? What are you telling me like that? But I had never cheated in the past. It's not about deceit. 
but I absolutely don't want to have my younger brother's wife as my wife anymore. You are Nicholas's and not mine. Sorry for kicking you out of your marriage and your home. Now you and I are done. Go see your husband Nicholas and sincerely apologize to him. I think I did something wrong with my brother. It's a good thing you and I haven't taken the plunge and consummated the marriage yet. I really regret courting you Melissa. I can't continue my relationship with you anymore because I really don't want to live in sin and bring a lot of bad luck to my life. Lorenzo, have you gone crazy? I gave up my husband for you and now here's what you're telling me. I knew very well from the start that you were not reliable. I am so sorry, but I don't want to live in sin at all. You and I are only in the past now, ready to help you financially if you want. But there won't be a love story between the two of us anymore. I hope I was very clear with you. I don't want anything at all from you anymore and may your money perish with you. It's over as of today. First of all, I won't even sleep in this house tonight and I'm going to join a neighbor witch and never dial my number again. I hope I was very clear with you. Yes, yes, I think so. Good luck to you now for the rest. Part 5 of this video is coming. Be patient and stay connected. Brothers and sisters, that's all for this video. If you like this video, do not hesitate to like, comment and share it with those around you so that a soul can be saved and restored. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.